Hey, Romero, who was the last one up here? Romero? Do you hear me? Oh, come on, man. Romero! Hello? Anybody here? Like kids. This is a workplace. It's a trabajo. 
You're choking me. But it just seems like ages. It hasn't been that long. Yeah, come on, come on in. Oh, Charlie, it's so good to have you home. Hey, look, it's good to be home, Mom. It's just that with school and the internship, things are a little hectic right now, that's all. With me still being in school, I should be lucky I was accepted at all. I just wish we could get to see you a little more, Charlie. It was only a few holidays. Anyway, I'm here now, ain't I? You can never be too careful about simple little things like holidays. Your father and I won't be around forever. Now enough with all this nonsense. How's school, anyway? With all this mess going on down at the plant and your father getting sick, oh, it's enough to drive a person crazy. What do you mean getting sick? Is is that okay? Oh, he'll be fine. He's just a little overworked. He's not the only one. My little Charlie. Designed for a big company in the city. I'm so proud of you. But couldn't you just go find something a little closer to home? Mom, if there was something closer, I'd take it. But, but this is huge. It's just a job, Charlie. Bet you haven't thought twice about the friends you left here. I'm sure they're just as busy. I'm in town for a few weeks. I'll be sure to look them up while I'm here. Did you two throw some paint on these walls? It was your father's idea. The committee's been riding him so hard. 
that he just wanted something soothing to come home to. As if you weren't enough. Oh, Charlie, you're sweet. Speaking of which, how's your girlfriend situation? Meet anybody special at school you care to mention? Um, no, not really. I don't have a lot of what you call free time. After all these years, there must be someone special. Drive the knife in a bit further, Ma. And do you know who I ran into the other day? Jill. Jill Carr. The little girl you used to run around with. You two spent a lot of time together. Well, anyway, I ran into her at Handy's Grocery. I was just shopping, and she stopped me and started chatting me up. You're still sweet on her. Sweet on her? Look at you. Anyway, go on. So we were talking, and uh, she asked about you, and she said to tell you hello. And? And what? That's, that's all. She just, she just went about her business. Really sweet girl, you know. I know, Mom. I know. She just wasn't too thrilled with me running off to school all of a sudden. I don't think anybody was. Really. But hey, you're back now, so enjoy. Catch up with all your friends, and in time, it'll be all you have. Just wait and see. I just wanted something different. And yeah, I think about Jill too. You two were together forever. That's just not something you up and forget, Charlie. And if you did, I'd wonder about you. I'd be worried. You don't think I'm nosy. But I didn't notice any rings on those pretty little fingers of hers. Is that right? I'm just saying. Maybe I'll stop by and say hi. She's still at her folks' place. Come on, come on. Jill. Hey, Jill. It's me, Sharp. Wrong room, retard. Cameron? Is that you? Sharp? Long time no see. Yeah, hi. Where's your sister? My old room. That's on the other side of the house. Thanks. Sorry if I scared you. Please. Oh, and don't tell your parents? Yeah, yeah. Same old camera. So, I guess you didn't forget your way back after all. Hey, Jill. I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought that... Do you know what time it is, Sharp? No, not really. But I thought that... You don't have to whisper. My parents are out of town. Besides, it's late. Too late. Come back some other time. Jill! I just came to talk. About what, Sharp? What do you possibly have to say that caused you to come all the way out here at this hour? What are you wearing? 
It's my birthday next week. It's an 80s themed party. Is that what you came here to talk about? Because if that's it, I'll see you later. Jill, look. I'm only going to be in town for a few days, and I felt that well, maybe there were some things I needed to set straight. I thought about this a lot, and... Well, you had a lot of time, I suppose. Yeah, actually, I have. There's some things I just... I need to get out. All right, then. Shoot. Well, it's a nice night, Jill. Why don't we go for a walk like we used to? I've got a ton of stuff to do in the morning, and it's already pretty late, so why can't we just do this some other time? Yeah, okay. You're probably right, Jill. Probably not the best of ideas. We'll just do this some... some other time. Sure. Everything's gonna be fine. All right, Sharp. One o'clock. Go ahead. You look good, Jill. I'm here. What is it? Well, it's been a few years and... A few? A few? You're a dull one, Sharp. This is a bad idea. Forget it. No, hey, wait, Jill, look. I know it's been a long time, and I didn't come here to upset you. It's just that... I thought I'd stop by and then... I only want to talk. Why, Sharp? What could you possibly say that I would care to hear? Oh, an apology. That sounds like a really great way to start off. I think I should give you the reason before I give you the apology. There were some things I figured out, some a lot later than I should have, and I never meant for things to turn out the way they did. And it is my fault, and that's why I'm here. I even remembered. I never could before, but I did this time. Fine. Let's go. Just keep it quick. Don't you want to open it first? I'll wait. So, the uh, last time I saw you was here, down our road, the night before I left. You mean the night before you ran off to who knows where? You remember we left the dance early and I had that tuxedo that was two sizes, too small? That was a long night. Yes, it was. And you told me things were going to change, that what we were would stay the same, and I believed you. I sat by the phone for months waiting for a call. I checked the mail every day for anything that would make me believe what you said was real, Sharp. That was a long night that turned into years. And what, you just show up and I'm supposed to pretend like everything's fine? Like those years hadn't happened? Like you didn't just leave me with a few pictures and good times and something I thought for so long was so right? I don't even know why I'm here. I can't pretend like I'm fine with this. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, Jill. I'm sorry I left you. It wasn't supposed to end up like this. I just needed to get out, to breathe, try and take control of my own life. See if I had what it took to make it out there in the world. I'm glad you wandered all over the earth to find yourself. I really am. But you shouldn't have dragged me along with you. A simple goodbye, I'll never see you again would have worked. It wasn't supposed to play out this way, honest. I never wanted to hurt you, Jill. And I thought about you a lot. And the more I thought about you and the way things were, I wanted to come back. But by then, I was so far gone just trying to be myself. <laughs> trying not to be held back. Oh, I'm sorry for holding you back. I would have supported you in whatever you wanted if I only knew what that was. That was us, don't you remember? That's why I'm here. I'm not on some crusade to right all my wrongs. But I want to make things right with you. What we had was good. It was better than good. It, it was great. And to have you hate me so much, and to know now with you in front of me, just how much I hurt you, I can't go on like that. Not anymore. But I need you to know I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, for, for not being there, for the lonely nights, the silent phones, empty mailbox. I'm sorry. I need you to know that. 
You have no idea, Sharp, because if you did, you would have stayed back wherever you were. I don't need this, and I don't need you coming back into my life. I learned to get along just fine without you. Jill. Hey, honey. Really busy. What? What are you doing? Walking. I'll call you when I have Thanks, kid. What? Sweet. Sorry. Is he nice? What? Your boyfriend. Is he nice? Yeah, he's, um... Sharp, why did you come over tonight? I just miss you, Jill. And I do apologize. Take it as you will, but I am sorry. And yours? My what? Girlfriend, significant other. You went off on them too? I guess I just haven't really been lucky in that department. What, may I ask, are you doing out this late, Jill? Hey, Sheriff. Your parents realize... Sharp, is that you? Damn, son. Ain't seen you in a coon days. How you been? Oh, I've been good, Sheriff. Is everything okay? Got a call from your dad's plant. Seems there was a little accident out there. Nothing serious, I hope. We've been getting calls all night. Probably just some crazies running around. Now, I'll tell you what, kids. It's getting a tad bit laid out. Why don't y'all wrap this up, and you can pick it up again in the morning. Okay, sure. Thanks. Come on, Jill. Oh, my dad's all right. I'm sure he's fine. What do you think he meant by crazy? Don't know. Probably just some bored kids running around. I should probably get you home. Sorry about being so direct, Sharp. Earlier, I was just too much too soon and all really unexpected. I guess I just had a lot to say. Me too. I didn't want to spring this on you all of a sudden. It's just, well, you know, I've never been good at these things. <laughs> You're a dull one, Sharp. Did you make that up on your own? <laughs> no. I don't know. I guess I heard it in a movie somewhere. I'm glad you stopped by. This was nice. Hey, do you want to catch a movie tomorrow or something? Your boyfriend can come too, <laughs> if he wants. I have a few things to do tomorrow. My mom calls, he's gonna run out, and ugh, my sister's being you know a what? brat, and... We'll take things slower. I'm gonna be in town a while, and I'll just look up the guys, and I'll just hang out. And don't think that... I didn't think that because we were... <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that... Take it easy, Charlie. I have a few things to do tomorrow. Maybe after. You could be Patrick. Maybe. But we should hang out tomorrow. Take it slow. Movie sounds like a good way to start off. I'd like that. Really? It could be fun. Right? I'll get the tickets, you get the popcorn, and it'll be like old times. I'll call you tomorrow. Joe. I'm only an intern, but it makes me feel important, you know, <laughs> to have a business card. This is cute. <laughs> Night, Jill. Night, Charlie. It's your boy, Big Daniel, Texas Superman, and it is December, and what the heck, it's hot outside, man. It's not supposed to be this hot in December. 
And today we're looking at highs in the 70s. If you plan on heading out, going to the stores, getting some for Christmas, good for you. It's going to be perfect weather. And check this out. Here's the brand new one from Beeville's very own seed. Hey, Pops. Haven't slept yet, I see. Long day at the office? Long day at the office. What's up? Your father, he's so hungry. Well, he had a long night. Long day at the office. See? Wow, sure looks good, Mom. Though I think you might want to flip those eggs. So, Pops, I heard that there was some accident at the plant. You all right? I'm all right. What happened? You get shampoo in your eye? <laughs> Just kidding. But is everything all right? I ran into the sheriff last night. Tony, what were you doing after at that hour? I didn't even hear you leave. I had a chat with Jill. Charlie, at that hour? Come on, Ma. Anyway, the sheriff said there was an accident. Accident? Yeah, I got that part, but is everything cool? Everything. that they shut down the plant for a few days. They're sending in a cleanup crew tonight. Looks like your father will finally get some time off. He sure could use it. Thanks. You don't look so good, Dad. Maybe you should get some rest. Catch some Z's. I mean, you should work at a shampoo plant. How stressful could it be? Oh, and Hector, does he still work there? No. Really? He's been there for a while, right? What happened? Let go. What your dad says, he was sticking his nose where it didn't belong. Serves him right. Huh. Well, after breakfast, I'll head over to his place and see what he's been up to. Good. Check on him, Charlie. Hey. Finish your juice. Man, are you okay? Talk to me, man. Are you all what right? What the shit, man? Why don't you watch where the hell you're... Mark? Sharp. What the hell are you doing back home, man? I, I thought you left this place for good. Well, I'm out on break, but... Oh, Mark. 
Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't, I didn't see you back You know then. what, dude? Just don't even worry about it, all right? But the phone went off, and I stopped looking at it. Hey, look, I live, okay? Damn it. Mark. Hey, Mark. Man, I've been in town less than a day, and all I keep saying is I'm sorry, or I'm really sorry. We were friends once, right? My leg's killing me, man. Well, come on, man. Hop in. I'll give you a ride. Huh. It was Jill. What? I stopped looking back to answer the phone when I hit you. It, it was Jill. Jill Jill from high school Jill. Yeah. Man, you work fast. Damn it, she always talks about you whenever I see her around town or something like that. Um, she always brings up something y'all did back in high school. Really? Yeah, and, and her boyfriend Pat, real asshole. He treats you like shit. Um, Hector knows him. It's Hector's older brother's friend or something like that. Speaking of Hector, my dad was telling me about how he got fired from the plant. Oh, man. The plant's got some weird shit going on over there. Don't tell your dad or anything, but uh, it's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> what do you mean by weird? I don't know, like tests and experiments and crazy ass stuff like that. Hector will tell you all about it. Well, I was going to stop by his place to see what he was up to. Yeah, well, he just got hired over there at Dairy Mart, uh, where Panther's Pizza used to be. Hey, uh, do you mind if we stop by over there and grab something to eat? <laughs> Won't your fiance have something to say about that? Um, not wearing a leash, and besides, uh, we're catching up, so it's cool. All right, sounds good. Uh, maybe I'll give Jill a call. She can meet us over there. I would. You two guys are like, oh, shit! <laughs> Seriously, put that thing away while you're driving, man, for real. What was that? I don't know. Was that a man? Was that somebody? I don't know. I wouldn't doubt it with your luck. Shit! Shit, he got up! Damn it! Oh, we should see if he's all right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sharp, what's he doing, man? I don't know. Sir! Excuse me, sir! Are you okay? I, I didn't see you coming out of the woods. I'm sorry. We could get you some help. Sharp, he's wearing one of your dad's lab coats, man. Do you think he's from the plant? Maybe. Sir, are you from the plant? Mr. Sharp's my dad. We could get you to the hospital. Just stay cool. I think you're going into shock. Oh, I think it's going into shock. Fuck, man. Just look at him. He's fucking dying. He's fucking dying, man. Look at him. You know what, let's just take off and get him some help. He needs some help. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. Oh, Mark, get in that? the car. Get in the car, Mark, get in the car. Everything's cool, everything, just, just, just keep eating. Hey, welcome to Dairy Mart, how can I help Hector, is he here? Uh, he's on break right now, man. Oh, where's he at? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, you can't go back there. Hey, you can't go back there, man. Hey, hey. Hector, hey, Hector. Shark? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Been a long time, I know, I know. Sorry for not visiting or calling, but look, right now I need to know what's going on at the plant. Mark and I, we just saw some weird stuff. What's going on there? And my dad? And the accident last night, did it? Whoa, Sharp. Take it easy, bro. What gives? I mean, I ain't seen you in like... Uh, heck, we'll catch up later, I promise. But what are they doing at the plant? Um, glad to see you, Charlie. Really, I am. But, um... 
As you can see, I'm on break right now, so, uh, yeah, glad to see you're doing well and all, but I got some work to do, so why don't you come back see around 5, okay? No, Hector, listen, there's something weird going on, and I want to know what. I just hit somebody, and this white stuff flew everywhere, and these guys Chuck, can't... what the hell? I'm kind of busy here. Okay, look, I just called the cops, and, and I told them everything, and they're on their way. Damn it, Hector, tell Sharper about the plant. Tell him. Whoa, wait. Cops? Here? Why? What the hell's going on? What are you guys on? I mean, you really hit someone. Yes. That's what I've been trying to tell you. What's going on at the plant, Hector? So this man stepped out of nowhere and you hit him, right? And then after spraying white goo all over your car, he gets up and starts shaking? Yes, exactly. I know it sounds a little weird, but... A little? Did you just hear yourself, son? Have you been drinking? You on some sort of city drugs? We don't take kindly to that kind of thing around here. Look, Sheriff, I'm not making this up. Go out there. Trust me, we've already been out there. And the good news is, we didn't see nothing. Damn it, Sharp, I don't want to do this. Sheriff! Come on, Sheriff. Ah, Sheriff Mills, it wrong. seems we got another silent dispute, this time out at the carpenter. Damn it. Sheriff, let's back up. Count your lucky stars, Charlie Sharp. But, Sheriff! Stop. Now, if I hear from you again, I'm taking you in. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Sheriff. What do we do now? I don't know. What is? Hey, come on, Hector. Give him a break. You show up here followed by the fuzz? Yeah, we were friends back in the day, Sharp. But this is just pushing it. We got customers bugging out, and now the manager's on his way. Man. What are you doing? I'm heading off to my other job. Do me a favor. Don't follow me. Hector, wait. There's something real strange going on here. Mark and I saw it. But what is that? What is that? I don't know, Hector. What is it? Look, this is between you two. I don't want nothing to do with this. I'm not getting involved here. Look, no. Hector, you're going to tell me one way or another? Grab it, Mark. Shark's dad shampoo on the front steps. I mean, he hasn't said he worked with us since we moved in, and all of a sudden he leaves some shampoo. Speaking of, does Mark know Shark's dad? He came in yesterday. Wait a sec. How do you know? He stopped by my house last night to see me. Oh my god. What did y'all do? I swear, we just talked. That's it. You two park? You did, didn't you? Park? What is this, the 50s? Come on, I have a boyfriend, remember? Did you tell him? Pat, I mean, did you? No, why would I? There was something going on there. 
You little... Stacy, it's me. I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't tell Pat anything either. He's such an idiot. <laughs> Joe, I know he's your boyfriend and all, but really, he's like really old. So you were saying, Sharp's in town, huh? Is he still cute? <laughs> I bet he is. How long has it been? It's been a few years. He was so apologetic. Sorry for this. Sorry for that. He seemed excited to see me. That was nice. And he brought me a present. What was it? I haven't opened it yet. Come on. <laughs> I'm waiting till my birthday. It was a birthday present. He's so like mature now. After we got all the anger issues out of the way, it was nice. We talked like we used to. Just talked. I just can't remember the last time I talked so much. You look different. Glowing. You're glowing. I'm not. I'm just happy. It's been a while. A long while. It's probably my parents. I'll be right back. <laughs> Jill, Jill, look, something's happened. I don't know what, but it's pretty bad. I can't understand you. You're kind of screaming. No, Jill, listen, where are you? Uh, Stacy and Mark's place? Yeah, hey, Jill, is Stacy there? Is she all right? Give me the phone. Damn it. Jill, look, me, Mark, and Hector, we're on our way. We're Tell her we're on our way. We're almost what are you there. Talking about? What's happening? Jill, look. Sir, what is it? Just lock the doors and close the blinds. I'll explain everything when we get there. Sure, okay. Jill, trust me, we're just up the road. Is everything? Stacy? Is that sharp? <laughs> oh my god. You scared me, Stace. They're on the way over here. Mark? What's sharp? Yeah, I guess they ran into each other. They said something was wrong. Oh, Stacy, your neighbor's freaking out again. Mark, 
Go to my parents' place. Make sure my mom's okay. Hector, come with me. Joe, we'll pick up your sister. Let's go. What happens when we find your dad? What are we supposed to do? I heard the others talking once. It's a parasite. It lives off of a host's body and in turn releases other parasites linked to its host through its saliva or blood. Like a virus or STD. Unlike your average virus, if you kill the main host, the others will die. In theory, I don't know how, but I was cleaning, getting rid of a lot of animals afterwards. They thought they could keep it under control. I mean, that was their fail-safe switch. If things got a little shifty, they'd kill the host and the rest would die. Are you sure? We need to be sure. In theory, yeah. I mean, what else are we supposed to do? You saw your dad, and I'm pretty sure he was pretty bad off. He had been spending a lot of time in the lab afterwards, doing Lord knows what. Last time I saw him, he was pretty deranged. Screaming, throwing stuff all over the lab that was covered in that white mess. Animals running around, screeching, fighting. Then a week later, the accident, and now all hell's breaking loose. I think you know what you gotta do, Sharp. I'm sorry, man. But there has to be another way. driver's seat. If anything happens, take off. We'll be fine. Sharp! Please? Is that you?
scared the fuck out of me. car and get out of town. Sharp, I won't. No, Jill, I need you to. You've got to get my mom and get her somewhere safe. I promise when this is over, I'll find you. Now, come on. This won't be the last time you see me. All right, Sharp. I'll be waiting. Go. What are we going to do now? Well, if they don't want to listen to us, then we do it ourselves. We can go to the plant or the distributor. It's only 7.30. They should still be there. If we stop the shampoo, we stop the infection, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of options, so...
Joe, can you hear me? What's wrong? Yeah. I lost the signal. Fuck. There's something in there. Is it one of them? Maybe we should leave. Come on. If it could have got out, it would have already. Then let's let it stay in there. Nah, let's check it out. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I ain't got nothing. Just watch my back. Something, something, something. How long have you been out here? Shit. Too long. Can you, like, get me out of here? Those things are everywhere. I hit one. Look. You're right. I think so. Yeah. Well, well, well. Couple of heroes, huh? At ease, soldier. The name's Smith. John Dog Smith. Smith, huh? Where's Wesson? In town, gathering supplies. You guys all right? We think. Were you here the whole time? Seemed like a good enough spot to pick them off. They're out there. Whole mess of them. Hiding in the brush, behind the trees. You two aren't the first to try and drive through here. They come out in waves. Someone new shows up. Tough to take down. That's why I gotta aim for the head. I'll pick them off, hide the bodies. They won't all come out at once. They just stand out there and wait. Um, guys, I'm still here. Hello? Shit. She's still alive? Yeah. Can someone get me out? How many you taking out so far? Uh, quite a few. Hey guys, I could use a hand over here. It's about damn time. The name's Kate, can we go now? Shirt. I think it's Stacy. 
I hear it. It's getting closer. What is... Is she okay? Hey, hey, it's me. Where is she? Where's Stacy? Where is she? Mark, calm down. What happened? Those things, man, they were everywhere. We took off. We lost them when we ran, but... Your mom, she went crazy. Just like your dad, Sharp. Sharp. Are you all right? I, I think so. There's something wrong with your friend. Oh, Mark, don't move. Just stay put. Somebody give me something. Oh, a it, shirt. It's okay. I'll something. It's okay. Just call an ambulance. No, it's Let's too just... late. Don't do what you have to do. Just leave me here. I don't want to leave Stacy alone. I know why you never come home to visit. It's because sometimes, sometimes you have to finish what you started. Mine's here, and yours is out there, so go. Go. There's more of them coming. I can hear them. Go, Sean. Come on, Jill. Accept your apology. these things, they're eating people. There's more people in town. That's where they'll be. That's where he'll be. How are we supposed to find your dad way out here in the middle of nowhere? I know where he could be. Well, there's smoke. There's fire. Come in, Sarah. We're here at the location. There doesn't seem to be anybody out here. Are you sure we have the right address? I'm positive the calls came from downtown. Are you sure you don't see anyone? Hold on, I see someone.
Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Come on, Shark, let's go. I can't go with you, Jill. I have to put a stop to this. I've gotta find my dad. Go with Hector, find John Dog and your sister. They'll keep you safe. Just stay alive and I promise I'll find you. Don't leave me again. This is something I have to do, Jill. I I'm sorry, but I have to put a stop to this. Damn it, Sharp. You better come back to me. I promise I will. Just, just stay safe. Hector, keep her safe. Hey, John Dog, I think we should go this way. Take these two. I got some shit to do. We need to split up and make sure there's no way these things can get in here. I think we'll be safe as long as we stay quiet. I don't know. So how about Patrick, your um, friend, and Kate? I'll take this side. Hello. Fine. Whatever. Jill, Tammy, you two come with me. Let's check out this back area. And you two, head on down that hallway and make sure there's no way these things can get in. Wait, what do we get? Here. What am I supposed to do with this? If one of those things comes at you, hit it. And me? You're with him. Good luck. Do you think those things are in here? If they are, then what? What are we gonna do then? Hey, keep it down. We're just gonna check these doors and make sure they're locked. That's it. There's no one in here but us.
This place seems safe enough. Let's find the others. There's one in there. It got Patrick.
be foolish. Come on. Come on, Sharp. Hurry. We're running out of time. It can't end this way. part of you in there still. Come back. Don't let it win. But if it's going to take over, I can't let that happen. I'm going to have to take you out, Dad. Wesson. Might want to hurry up and get your ass in here. You're one crazy 
crazy son of a bitch, Charlie. <laughs> Lucky I showed up when I did. That last one might have got you, ass. I done picked up all your friends. John Dog told me it was a safe place. Just take me to Jill. We're headed there right now, so don't you worry. <laughs> 